Data loading in Snowflake can be done in many different ways. It could be done via Snowflake Web UI or using SnowSQL CLI or using external stages like AWS S3. The last episode already covered data loading using classic web UI and in this episode we will learn how to load CSV, PSV or PSV file using SnowSQL CLI and more importantly using internal user stages. External stages need a special permission in your enterprise account but user stage is created automatically for each user and you can do a lot of thing using user stage when it comes to data loading. We are going to cover a lot and exercise everything listed here and understand the power of user stage. So the list goes here. How to use put command and use different options while loading the file. How to use user stage for data loading. Copy command from user stages. Different delimiters with flat files and loading everything into a single table. Copy history to monitor via SnowSite web UI. So there are a lot of interesting things to learn about data loading in Snowflake and nobody will teach or explain in such a detail to you. So stick until the end of this video. Welcome back to my channel Data Engineering Simplified and to this how to load data into Snowflake playlist for true data professionals like you. Let's start our data ingestion using SnowSQL CLI and user stages. I am assuming that you already have SnowSQL CLI installed else you would not be able to practice them in your local environment. We are going to load customer data. The data file has all kind of data types like varchar, number, decimal, date, boolean and timestamp. We will also practice two different delimiters with the same data set like pipe character as well as tab character and we will load all the file into a single table. So at high level, the process of loading data from SnowSQL to internal user stage looks like this. Use the put command in SnowSQL CLI and place the file to the user stage. No special permission is required to perform this operation. Once the file is in user stage, create a file format and run a copy command to load the data into your table. So let's see them in action. And yes, you can download all the SQL script and sample file used in this video and practice them in your enterprise Snowflake account or in your free trial Snowflake account. Let's put customer data files into user stage and from user stage, we will run copy command to load data into customer table. We will use SnowSQL CLI client provided by Snowflake to run our put command. It can also be run using Python program that we have already covered in this video refer the link below. So here is my put command where my first input parameter is the file from your local environment. Second parameter is primarily your user stage and third is auto compress equals to false. The put command automatically compresses the file before placing it. So we need to make sure that auto compress equals to false parameter should be set. The advantage with user stage as well as in the table stage that we don't need to create any internal or external stage and data will be placed inside the user stage directly. Most of us think that we need to have an external or internal stage before we can place a file. User stage is a specific stage location where user can place any amount of data and you do not need any special permission for that. So let's go to our VS code and from there I will run my SnowSQL and use the put command. So I already logged in into my SnowSQL CLI and let's quickly review how the customer data looks like. So here is my customer data. We have already seen this data set in our previous chapter. The first row is header and it has total 100 data rows and it is separated by a comma as a delimiter. So now I have copied my put command and I'm just placing it. So it says put name of the file and I'm placing the file into user stage and user stage is denoted with at the rate tilde sign followed by any folder structure and the last parameter is that auto commit equals to false. Let me run this command. So I can see my customer data is uploaded. There's no compression applied. Let's run the list command. If I just give at the rate tilde, I will get a lot of other files. And here is my customer 100 row uncompressed.csv, which is close to 1.5 MB of data size. Now let's go back to the snow site. So I am in my new worksheet. Let me quickly change my warehouse and schema. So it got executed successfully. 
Now I am creating a table called customer underscore zero one. This table has total 15 fields. We have also used the same table in our previous chapter. So my customer underscore zero one table is created. Let's quickly check how many rows it has. So it does not have any data set. Let's see the structure. Okay, so it has first name, last name and total 15 fields. Good. We have already seen this command. Now I am going to execute list at the rate followed by entire namespace. Okay, let's see what result does it bring. I can see that I have only one data set available close to 1.4 MB and this is MD5 string. As we know, before we run a copy command, we have to create a file format. So let's create a file format. So my file format is created successfully. This file format is having a definition where type equals to CSV. The compression is none. We do not have any compression. That's why compression is equals to none. The field delimiter is comma. The field enclosed by double quote represent as a 042 and I am skipping my first row as a header row. Now I am going to run the copy command to load the data which is available in our user stage location. So the copy command is targeting customer underscore 01 and so the from statement is taking the name of the CSV file which is under customer CSV uncompressed context and finally, my file format is customer CSV FF, which is matching with this. And on error, it will not stop. It will continue to load the next row. And finally, it will purge the file. What does it mean? It will delete the file from the user stage location. Good. So let's run this copy command. So my 100 rows loaded successfully and there is no error. So in previous chapter, we have seen how you can load the data using web UI and here we have seen how you can load the data using your stage location and using your Snow SQL. Now let's see the result. So I have total 100 rows and this is how my data set looks like. Perfectly fine. And if you want to see the stats, you can click on this button and this is how the distribution looks like. Again, if you have not seen my snow site web ui tutorial here is a link please go and watch that tutorial so i have two other data file which we have used last time also and those data files are separated by tab as well as pipe let's quickly review the data this is the same customer data where data is separated using the pipe delimiter and it has total 100 rows okay and here i have another file which is exactly the same customer data and it is separated tab as a delimiter. I will first load this data into user list and then execute copy command to load the data into same customer table. So this is my PSV file. Let's copy the PSV file. So the PSV file is uploaded successfully. Now run this TSV file which is tab separated value. So I can see my file is available. Let's go and check from the web UI. So I can see there is one file under PSV folder and there is one file under TSV folder. Looks good. Now since they are TSV and PSV, I need to create two different file format because according to the file format, the data will be parsed. So here is my TSV where field delimiter is backward slash followed by T. Rest of the parameters are same. Now I'm creating PSV file. My field delimiter is pipe sign. So my PSV file format is created also. Now I am going to run exactly the same copy command. Only thing is that the file location is different here. So notice it is TSV followed by TSV file. Looks good. Oops, let me change. So my TSV uncompressed is loaded successfully. 100 rows parsed and there is no issue. Good. Similarly, I am running this PSV. So my PSV file also loaded and no error. My information schema is also reflecting everything correctly. No error anywhere. Let's go and check the table. It should have total 300 rows. So I got total 300 rows. Let's go and check the copy history. So I have total 300 rows close to 14.5 KB of data. And I can clearly see 
all the data is loaded successfully, there is no issue and no error. If the data is loaded through the pipe, then you will have a different status here. And this particular column shows the pipe indicator. And here the location is users in the sense this file is loaded from the user stage. And if you have not seen how to load data using pipe, refer the link below, which talks everything about pipe in detail. So this is how you can use SnowSQL user stage and copy command to load your data from your local machine. Next set of videos will focus on following loading multiple data files at one go using pattern matching parameter and become more efficient to load the data. Is no SQL CLI behavior when large data file are placed using put command. Very interesting topic. The role of parallel parameter while using put command for a large data files. There are many more scenarios to be seen and learned as a part of this playlist. So keep following this playlist and thank you for watching. Happy learning.